in this tutorial we will dive into how to make player movement in unity and before i jump into this tutorial i want to announce that i have some amazing courses on unity 6 and shisha for absolute beginners so don't miss this opportunity and make sure you check that out the link is available in the description also i want to thanks for donating in this month on patreon noah shelly now let's get into this tutorial let's create a, uh, a script for that in order to move this player game object to do so what we will do we will move over to our project tab then assets let's head over to script folder or you can simply right click on this assets then create and mono behavior script and you can name that script whatever you like i already created a player movement script uh, inside my script folder as you can see right over here so what we will do we will select our player game object in the hierarchy and let's select this script and drag it over to this add component section in the inspector and let's double click on this script in order to open it up in visual studio so before i do that let me explain what we're gonna do if we move over to unity select this player and this move tool in the scene view uh, we just if we move over to inspector then transform and then position and play around with x position we can see player is moving left and right so what we basically need to do we need to play around with x position or we need to replace this x with uh, some kind of movement or speed something like that so firstly we need to move over to this transform of this player then position and we're gonna replace this x with something else in order to move this player game object but before we do let's open up our player movement script by double clicking on it so i'm gonna remove this start function we don't need and we're gonna use this update function so this update function runs every single frame every single frame we're gonna check for some input and we're gonna use this input dot sorry input dot get axis function and this function in uh, brackets in quotation it's gonna take the uh, axis in which axis we want to move so we want to move this player left and right uh, something like this or horizontally so that's why in these brackets we need to pass the axis name so the axis name just gonna be horizontal so we're gonna pass horizontal and let's close that up with semicolon so this input dot get axis horizontal it can be minus one plus one or zero depending upon which key we holding down so let's suppose we hold down a key or a left arrow so this over here this function it's gonna give us minus one and if we hold down d key then it's uh, this function uh, uh, this function just gonna give us plus one or if we hold down the right arrow or d key it's gonna give uh, plus one or one and if we don't hold down a and d key both of them then it's gonna give us zero so what we will do we're gonna store whatever the result is into a parameter so we will go to top of our class and we're gonna declare a variable for it so uh, it doesn't need to be public so we can make it private instead so we're not gonna able to see underneath our play movement script right over here because we're just making that parameter private and that will be float and we can call this movement movement and let's close that up with semicolon so whatever the result is what we're gonna do we're gonna store the result into this movement parameter or you can simply say into this movement uh, container so this input dot get access horizontal can be minus one plus one or zero depending upon which key we holding down so let's suppose we hold down a key or left arrow so this over here it's gonna keep minus one so this becomes minus one so that's why this movement right over here will be minus one because we directly setting it or whatever the result is we just storing into this movement container or into this movement variable so this movement can be minus one plus one or zero depending upon which key we holding down now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press down Control s to save my script and let's move over to unity and uh, what we're gonna do now we're gonna check that but we're not gonna able to see underneath player movement script why because we made that pri field private but let's suppose you still want to see that private field so what you have to do for that make sure you just go to inspector in the top right you can see three dots so just click there and then click on this debug and now as soon as we have chosen debug underneath our player movement scape we can see the movement parameter which by default is zero so if i click on this play button in the top and then 
try to press down a, a, a key or left arrow you will see this movement just gonna be minus one and if we hold down t key or right arrow you will see this will be plus one or one uh, so let me show you so if i hold down a, a d key as you can see it's became one and if i just lift up my finger it became zero and if i hold down a key as you can see it's became minus one so i'm gonna get out of play mode and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to normal mode so once again you need to move over to inspector in the top right you can see three dots so just click there and then click on this normal in order to go back into the uh, normal mode so why we created that that movement parameter because we're going to replace this x position of this player game object in transform basically this x position with that movement so that movement can be minus one plus one or zero so let's suppose uh, that movement is minus one and we replace this x axis with that movement uh, so let's uh, let's put minus one as you can see as soon as we put minus one this player moving to the left direction and if we put uh, plus one or one we can see this player moves to the right direction and if we put a zero it's not gonna move at all so we're gonna replace this x with that movement which can be minus one plus one or zero basically means this player will move to the left or right depending upon what uh, which key we holding down so let's go to script and now for that what we're gonna do we're gonna use a separate function for it and that is called fixed update and we're gonna use that why are we using this fix update function because this fix update is uh, frame rate is fixed no matter what computer we using this fixed update will run uh, in as, as fixed frame rate let's suppose in one second this fix update run 55 uh, frames so the next uh, second and or next for the next time still this fix update will run 55 uh, five, uh, frames in one second so as you can see the frame rate is totally fixed so that's why it's called fixed update and it's called over again and again but the frame rate is uh, fixed so so what we will do over here firstly we will move over to transform dot position and transform dot position we do know it's basically means current position of that player game object and top of that we're gonna add this new vector 3 a uh, vector 3 and the uh, and close that up with semicolon so the transform dot position basically means we just going over to this player then transform and then accessing this position and then what we're gonna do we're gonna set uh, and top of that we just adding this uh, new vector 3 and this vector 3 is just gonna have x axis y axis and the z axis uh, so be because this transform dot uh, dot position is a three dimensional data so that's why we need to set equal to this new vector 3 also this vector 3 has three data or three axis because this transform dot uh, position have three axis has three axis so now what we're gonna do in the y we don't want to move at all so that's why in the y we're gonna put 0f and in the z axis we're gonna do the same thing which is 0a but in the x what we will do we're gonna replace this x with our movement which can be minus one or plus one depending upon which key we holding down basically means we just replacing this x with that movement and let's suppose that movement is minus one means we just holding down a key so if i put minus one we can see this player just moving to the left direction and if i put plus one or one we can see this moves to the right direction this player uh, so i hope you get the idea so i'm gonna set back to zero so firstly we're going to transform dot position basically means current position of that player game object and top of that we just adding the change and we just only replace the x with this movement which can be minus one plus one or zero depending upon which key we holding down basically means we're gonna move left or right direction according to our according to which key we holding down and make sure you multiply this whole thing or this movement with time dot fix delta time because we need to make frame rate constant in every system so that's why we're going to multiply with time dot time dot fix delta time not delta time because we're doing inside this fix update so that's uh, that's why we need to uh, multiply with time dot fix delta time instead of uh, time dot delta time and also what we're gonna do we're gonna multiply this uh, fixed delta time or this movement with some uh, number so we can move a little bit faster so we also gonna multiply with some number something like 5f 5f so we will move to the left or right direction with 5f because this movement let's suppose this movement is one 
so 1 into 5 just gonna be 5 means this player will move to the right direction with 5 unit of speed but instead of hard coding this let's go to top of our class and let's declare a variable for it and we're gonna make this one public so we can uh, adjust underneath our player movement script so we don't need to come to this script and change this value over again and again so let's make a public and that will be float and we can call this one to something like move speed so let's call it move speed and by default i'm gonna set around to something like 5f and let's close that up with semicolon and i'm gonna replace this 5f with our move speed and move speed by default we set 5 so we will move to the left or right direction with 5 unit of speed and now we're gonna press down ctrl s to save our skip and let's move over to unity and you will see as soon as we're gonna press down a or d key uh, this player will move to the left or right direction depending upon which key we holding down if we hold down uh, d key then this player will move to the right direction and if we hold down a key it's gonna move to the left direction uh, 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 because we just changed this exposition with our movement so let's click on this play button in the top in order to play our game and let's take a look on this so as soon as we're gonna try to hold down a and d key this player will uh, start moving to the left or right direction depending upon which key we holding down so let's suppose if i hold down a key as you can see it's moving to the left direction and if i hold down d key we can see it's moving to the right direction and if i just don't hold both of those key a or d and or, or else uh, left or right arrow we can see the player is not moving at all so I hope you get the idea that how you can uh, do it and I'm going to get out of play mode.